Welcome to another year of daft videos, Dumb Apple Farmers Talk. Today we're going to start right at the beginning of the season. Um, we are spend our whole winter pruning. People often ask what the hell you do all winter long and, and we, we do some work, uh, mostly pruning. And uh, you can see some of the cuts that we've made here to get rid of shade, basically let sun in. The whole purpose of that is to provide sunlight into the fruit, which all starts at the buds. For anybody in the fruit business, we pay a lot of attention to when these buds open up, how they open up, how fast they're maturing. And in a series of, of videos here, we're gonna show you guys uh, the life of an apple bud, basically. Uh, from the very beginnings, which is where we're starting here, on up into bloom and then into apples and into your bellies at some point. All right. So uh, to begin, uh, there are two types of buds that are on this tree. The first one, as you can see uh, here, these are leaf buds, okay? This is last year's growth, not very much growth on this. Uh, we should have probably a foot to a foot and a half. Um, these are honey crisps. They don't like to grow that much. And uh, this is a particularly uh, horizontal branch. So, you know, growth is gonna be limited, but these are leaf buds. These small things here will come out later. The fruit buds are gonna come out first. These are gonna form leaves. If we go down into the second year's wood, we can see these types of buds. These are all fruit buds. And as you look at these buds, you will see that these are a sort of a dark red, almost burgundy colored scaled bud. So there's overlapping scales that protect that developing bud. And these are still what we would say very tight. These are tightly held. These scales are firmly held on these Honeycrisp. Honeycrisp is a variety that's developed by the University of Minnesota. And one of their aims in developing their varieties is to have things that are cold hardy, both in terms of winter hardy and in terms of late blooming. So these two attributes together uh, are what allows us in the upper Midwest to actually grow apples and not, you know, go completely insane. So uh, these buds right here, as I said, are tightly held. All the goodies that are in there are uh, all, the, all the various parts of the fruit are already there starting to be in place and will start to grow and expand as, as we go out. Each one of these buds has, is going to produce five uh, blossoms, okay? There will be a king blossom that comes out first and then there will be four auxiliary uh, blooms. And so each of those buds could potentially produce five fruit, although that's extremely, extremely rare. As you can see, um, we have just on this one little branch, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, you know, there's a solid 25 to 30 buds on there. So if you multiply that by five, you could get 125 bloom. Uh, that's good Catholic school math there, by the way. Uh, you could get 125 bloom coming just on this one branch, which is way more fruit than we would want. That would, that would be uh, poor tasting, poor quality fruit to, to hang that much fruit. But as we'll talk about down the road, there's, there's ways that the tree has and that we have to try and drop some of that fruit off in the event that we actually got all that to bloom. But, so this is a fully dormant fruit bud. And next up, we're gonna look at what happens as this bud starts to expand out. So what we're talking about here is uh, basically these bud scales that used to be really tightly held, as you can see here, are starting to be pushed aside and spread apart by the developing bud. And that bud is expanding in there. Compare that to say this one. Look at the size difference there. This one is just starting to swell a bit. This one is the next stage. And then if we look over here, this one is beyond that. You can see the, the green tissue is just starting to poke its head out. And if we were to cut that, we would see in there quite a bit of green tissue. 
I didn't cut it very well. If you cut it correctly, you can actually see a lot of times a little bit of, of uh, the pistols in there. So as we cut that, you can still see the green tissue. Everything looks pretty good there. It's just bigger than before. Everything is growing in there. And eventually, as I said, these will become five different blooms um, from this one single bud. So this is basically what we would call silver tip. This means things are starting to happen. There's no going back, although a really cold night, these will kind of suck back in a little bit. But by and large, we're off to the races now. Uh, the tree is getting ready to, to fire up and is starting to make things happen with the buds. And as I said last time, these flower buds are going to come out first. So the first leaves that you see on an apple tree are going to be what we call the spur leaves. They're, they're from, this is called a spur, and, and the leaves that come are helping to feed some energy into that developing bud uh, as it grows. Later on, we'll get into leaves that support the general production of, of, uh, of carbohydrates, and we will you know, the, the tree will use those up as will the developing fruit. But for right now, what's developing here is strictly all about getting that fruit bud into blossom stage and then turning that into fruit. Yeah, so the next stage is really quarter inch green. Um, some people call this squirrel's ears. You can see the two little leaves that come off. And this stage starts to be really showtime for us. So we've got lots of green tissue here. Uh, lots of concerns about fungal attacks on this. And, um, and then we start to see some of the creepy crawling critters that are bugs that are gonna start to do us some damage on the fruit. Again, these are all fruit buds right here. You know, that's all we're seeing right now. The leaf buds haven't emerged yet. They haven't started to pop yet. Uh, here's a leaf bud, there's a fruit bud. And uh, what we're seeing here so far and man, knock on wood, but you can see every site that has fruit buds is starting to pop. Uh, that would be a lot of fruit, but some of these will, will be blanks and, uh, you know, provided there's no winter injury or spring frost, uh, we'll probably end up with too much fruit on this and we'll have to do some thinning. Yeah, so what we've looked at so far is sort of going from the dormancy of winter into the beginnings of spring in the, in the life of a tree. And uh, the next stage gets us way more into blossomdom. And uh, we'll be looking at what happens after that. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching.